Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In today's tutorial, you're going to learn how you can add a fancy looking animation inside your app using a third party library called Lottie. So let me show you an output of what you're going to build in today's tutorial. So you can see here I have this animation and I have this uh, button. When I tap on the start animation button, that's where the animation will start playing. Let me show you how that looks like. Now you can stop the animation by tapping on the stop animation button. And this is all done using this library called Lottie. And the best thing is you don't have to worry about being a designer or learning how to design these animations because they have their own site where they, where they provide you with so many types of animation that you can use them inside your app. They have free ones and they have paid ones as well. Let me show you the animations. So you just search for lottiefiles.com and they have this a huge library of animations that you can choose from and include them in your app. Uh, they have the free ones, so these are the free ones. And if you scroll down a bit, and you can see this from Lottie Marketplace, and they have the animations with their price tag, as you can see here. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use this animation. And let me open that. So here, once you open that, this is basically a preview of how the animation looks like. And if you scroll down a bit, then you can actually customize this animation in terms of like the speed of how fast you want this animation to move or the background color. So if you choose by default, that would be white. But if you don't like, if you don't like this color, you can choose different colors and whatever color they choose, it will reflect as you can see here. If you choose red, this is how it's going to look like with red color. But for this example, I'm just going to choose the default one, which is the white color. So once you're okay with this uh, kind of customization, then you can proceed with downloading the this animation file. And this animation file will be downloaded in a file format called JSON. And uh, once you download the file, I'll be showing you how you can include it in the library. But first thing that before you click on the download file, you need to have an account with lottiefiles.com and don't worry, it's free of charge. So create an account with them, download the, download the animation file that you like and once you're done, go back to the, the docs here, the Lottie documentation. I will provide this uh, documentation link in the description of this video. So I assume by now that you have downloaded the animation file. The first step that you need to do is you need to copy this dependency uh, library and include that inside your Builder Gradle module app. So copy that and go back to your Android Studio project, go back to the, open up the module, Builder Gradle module app, and add this line right here inside the dependencies section. Be sure to change the Lottie version to the version that you saw inside the docs file and that is the 3.4.1 so change that to 3.4.1 second step is click on the sync now so that your project gets synced and you'll be able to use this library so sync is complete that's good now I assumed that you have downloaded the animation file if you did the third step that you need to do is we need to include that animation file, the JSON file, inside your, your project files. So to do that, you need to open up the resource folder and you need to include that animation file inside the row folder here. So I did that already for the pizza. So I added the, the, the animation file and that is .json inside the row folder. Now in case if you're your project doesn't have the re doesn't have the row folder. What you can do is just 
click on the resource folder, right click, and then hover your mouse over the new, and then click on resource directory, Android resource directory. Now the resource type, click on that, choose row, and that's how Android Studio creates the row folder for you. Click on OK, and Android Studio will create the folder for you. So once you create the folder, just drag the animation file that you just downloaded inside this row folder, and now you should be up and running to use the animation. All right, fourth step is go back to the activity underscore main.xml file. You open that. That's where we're going to add these two views. That is the Lottie animation view. That's the view to, uh, to play the animation. And the second view would be the button. That's where you're going to control the animation. So to add the Lottie, we'll do Lottie. So for the layout width, that will be match parent. For the height, that would be wrap content. The reason we choose wrap content is because we need to give space for the button to be visible below the, uh, the animation view. And then we'll need to add an ID for this uh, view. So Android ID. And we're going to call this animation. And then we're going to add an attributes that are related to the Lottie. And we'll do that by typing app and then Lottie. Then once you do that, you have so many things that you can include them inside the inside this view. Well, for this example, we'll be working with three things, and that is the loop which means that you want to have this animation continuously play or you can use the autoplay and that's basically allows the animation to autoplay the moment the app launch and then the real resource so the real resource here is basically uh, tells you how you're going to reference the animation file now the animation file is created under the row folder as we did just now so you choose the Lottie row resource and then just uh, look for the animation file. And in this example, we have it set as, we have it, we have it named as pizza. And then we need to have this Lottie animation to be continuously playing, which means we need to use this loop and we'll initialize that as true. The other thing is we, we won't be using the animation, we won't be using app Lottie to this one, uh, app, app Lottie autoplay because we need to have, because we'll be controlling this uh, play and stop using the button. So we won't be doing that. Or you can write that and autoplay just set that as false and then just close the tag. Now you can see Android Studio is complaining here, saying that you need to add some constraint. This view is not constrained vertically. So you need to add those constraints. Now we won't be adding these constraints for now. We'll add the button and then we'll add the constraint for all of them. So for the button, just choose the button, drag it to your view here. So the button will be, we'll add a constraint to the bottom of the screen, add a constraint to the right, and add a constraint to the left. All right, as for the Lottie animation, we'll add a constraint to the button. We'll add constraint to the top. And we'll add a constraint to the right. So this one to the bottom of top, uh, top of, okay. Constraint right, constraint left. All right, that should be okay. Okay, another thing is we need to change the, uh, the, the ID of the button instead of button three. We need to change that to something else. So let's go refactor, rename, and change this to, we call this control animation. And I click on refactor. Now we have the uh, button with its ID. And these two views have their constraint 
Uh, final thing that we need to do is change the button label to play play animation. All right, so now we're done with the resource file. Open up the main activity of Java, and then declare uh, the Lottie animation view. We're just going to call this Lottie animation view, and for the button, we're going to call this control animation as well. Then we need to reference them based on your, their IDs. So Lottie animation equals to find view by ID out of ID dot. We, we call it animation and then we'll do the same thing for the button that will be control animation equals to find view by ID and that will be control animation then we need to start the animation and stop the animation as the user taps on the button so we need to call the uh, control button control animation dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside the onClick method, first we need to check the status of the, the animation view. Is it animating? Which means is it playing or is it stopped? So we'll do if lati animation dot is animating. If it's animating, if it's true, then we need, first we need to change the label of the animation button. So control animation dot set text and that would be that would be play uh, animation and to stop the animation to stop the animation they have two ways they have for Lottie they have uh, let me show you Lottie dot they have pulse animation pulse animation means that you want to pause the animation at that uh, second or you can call cancel animation and that's basically allows you to cancel the animation and once you want to start the animation it will start from the beginning and that's what we're going to do we need to cancel it completely so we'll just call cancel animation now if the animation is not playing then let me just copy this change the label from stop from play to stop and we're going to call Lottie animation dot uh, play animation. All right. So we have the button. We're checking the the animation status. If it's animating, change the label. Cancel animation. If it's not animating, change the label and play the animation. All right. I think we are done here. Let's let's see how it looks like in the emulator. Click on the run button. All right, so build is complete. We have the animation view and we have the button. Tap on the play animation. And the animation starts playing. Perfect. Then you can tap on the stop animation. And you can see the animation stop exactly at that second. If you use the, uh, the Lottie animation dot resume, then the animation will resume at this second. But for our case, we call the cancel animation. So if you tap on the play animation, it will start from the beginning. All right, let's uh, let's go back to the documentation. And let me show you a few things that you can do, actually. They, they have so many uh, type of customization that you can do in the uh, in this Lottie animation view. And I'll leave those customiz customization type to you guys. So you can play, play around with the library see uh, see how it looks like in in your app choose different types of animation from the Lottie files here they have so many types of animations they have a huge library so go ahead guys check it out play play around with the animation and another thing that I want to point out to you guys is if you scroll all the way to the bottom now you might be wondering like well if this animation is going to have uh, an impact on my app well you don't have to worry about that because if you scroll all the way down they've mentioned that yeah you can see this section what is the impact of Lottie on the APK size for example once you add this library then you want to you want to uh, release that to the Play Store 
then will it have an impact on the overall app size? Well, it is very small basically, and the size is like 100, 100 kilobyte, which is really, really small. And it says that here it's 45 kilobyte once it's get downloaded through the Play Store. So uh, you don't have to worry, you can include that and with this simple library. Like I said, it's using a few lines of codes and you can have this really cool animation. So go ahead, play around with this library, try it out, and I hope you guys like it. This is basically the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.